I could say that it's mainly uh, uh, three uh, main uh, events. The first one is certainly the accelerating of the uh, market consolidation here uh, in Canada. Uh, in fact, since a couple of years now, uh, there's a market consolidation. So uh, insurers are positioning themselves uh, to select uh, which larger size uh, they would like to uh, uh, to get, and uh, essentially it's to get more capacity uh, of development. Uh, certainly, trying to get some synergies and also to uh, position them, themselves to better influence the uh, the industry, and I say mainly uh, the regulators, because in Canada there's so much. Uh, uh, regulations, uh, which are different uh, between all provinces in uh, uh, in Canada. So, the more uh, the insurer is uh, well positioned in the industry, and the more he can influence uh, the the regulator. So, uh, actually, uh, insurers are positioning themselves, trying to see if it's is there any good opportunity to uh, uh, to consolidate the the market. But we really feel. Uh, that the current uh, event so far. Um, the challenges for our organization, uh, we are currently at the, at the seventh uh, position regarding our size uh, uh, in Canada. So first of all, we want to uh, revise our business strategy and uh, like any other insurance in the market, um, we are looking at different acquisition targets. Um, that, that's the first one. The second one, of course, we are looking at our market access strategies, meaning like that uh, we are essentially an insurer with a direct distribution with our CCC. Uh, when you look at your different targets in the market, um, do you want to go larger than that? Do you want to differentiate the way you want to, uh, to get access to, uh, to the market? So this, this is certainly another challenge that we have. And, um, but we decided, finally, to be proactive uh, and to capture the uh, uh, acquisition opportunities. And in fact, we are seven so far, and we aim to be in the top three in, uh, uh, in Canada over the, uh, the next years. So that's essentially the, uh, one of the main trend, trend uh, that we see uh, within the industry. The second one, I guess it's probably the same uh, uh, across the world. The needs and expectations of the customers uh, evolved so far. Um, uh, in fact, uh, the, the, the customer expectations continue to, uh, to become more complex. Uh, the customers become more and more informed, uh, demanding and not hesitating. Uh, and we, uh, we observe that more and more to use technological means uh, that are available to them to, uh, to have a voice and uh, to let know the, uh, the uh, industry that, that they have a, a voice. So the main challenge for the insurers is certainly to improve the customer satisfaction, and uh, I guess it's probably the same uh, everywhere. Uh, when I look more closely for our organization, uh, Desjardins, in fact, it's to increase uh, also the level of satisfaction uh, of customer for different uh, touch points. We have to simplify our offer to enhance the customer experience and to uh, uh, distinguish ourselves in the medium term as the leader of the customer experience. This is one of our ambition regarding customer experience is to be the leader in Canada by uh, uh, 2020. We want to invest much more in innovation. Uh, we launched uh, that technology a little bit uh, last year uh, in Canada. We were the first insurer to, uh, to launch that technology. And uh, of course, we really want to uh, uh, to get part of uh, the, the innovation and to be uh, a major player in the industry uh, through uh, through UBIP. There's a, a lot of opportunities. I know that in uh, Europe, um, that technology has been uh, launched since uh, a good number of years. Um, so we want to be to get inspired by what happens in uh, Europe and uh, in the United States to uh, make sure to capture the uh, the market with the innovation. So this is certainly number one. Uh, number two, like I told you, with, uh, with the trend with the industry, uh, invest a lot on customer experience. Uh, we are looking uh, presently, like I told you, to be uh, the leader in Canada. And to do so, uh, we are looking 
uh, currently to differentiate that position of the, uh, the customer experience in the, uh, on the market. And finally, the third one, uh, it's the, via the multi-distribution. I told you uh, earlier that uh, we are mainly uh, direct insurance using the CCC to uh, get access to the market. And now we're looking to diversify our way of getting access to the market. Uh, so diversify our direct model um, and probably to uh, look at, uh, mainly in Canada, it's the broker, uh, brokerage market is still uh, number one agencies uh, at some point, as uh, some part of the market. So we are now uh, much more open than we were uh, in the past to use different uh, ways to distribute our, our products. Uh, so these are mainly the three ones. Innovation, customer experience, and multi-distribution are what we are in, uh, at for the, for the future. And I'll uh, say so even more important in the future, uh, due to smartphone, to uh, mobility, uh, virtual has a preponderant influence on sales. In fact, uh, the, the volume of Desjardins uh, that doesn't attract uh, in the virtual ends up in the virtual of our competitors. So the consumer that want to uh, get access to the insurers via the virtual, uh, if you do not have a competitive offer uh, on the digital, then you're going to lose that business. Uh, that's for sure. It, it, that, that's uh, where our analysis are conducted. So um, even if we are very, very good at other channels, if we're not there in the digital, if we're not uh, there more and more in the social media. Uh, we know that we're going to lose that uh, uh, these customers. So we have to to be very successful at every stage of the approach to the cost consumer purchase, and uh, uh, even though we're going to lose them, so uh, it's a no choice a strategy to uh, to be there. Been part of uh, FMA now since uh, I don't know maybe three or four years, and uh, I attended to uh, two conferences so far. Uh, at each time, it's uh, it's always uh, great to be there. First of all, uh, it's good for the network uh, to uh, uh, share some uh, good ideas, some practices with the people uh, who are there, and uh, knowing that the fact that we are probably, I guess, we are the the only Canadian player in the industry to uh, uh, be part of uh, FMA regarding the, uh, the insurance industry. Uh, it, it's so valuable for me to, uh, to be with you uh, regularly and uh, to see what happens in Europe. And now it's my time to uh, share with you uh, the differences in, uh, in Canada and the way we get access and we distribute our products in Canada. And it will be my pleasure to, uh, uh, to share it with you and hopefully uh, to bring maybe some new ideas to uh, uh, to you guys. Okay.